which we sometimes forget when we go way back, which is the kind of Orientalist uh, depiction as well. Uh, in my mind, when I think of the way that Iranians have been represented in the American media, there is a historical trajectory that I think of as Haji Baba, uh, Bisfahan, uh, and then the, the, the terrorist Mullah Islamic Republic kind of trope, and then the Shahs of Sunset, which you know I was also going to bring up, and I'm, I'm grateful to uh, Neda for bringing that up. Um, I think that the, these, these kind of images and um, stereotypes have often coexisted at the same time. Um, and I think there's a little bit of that. I think they, they often are kind of always there, all three of them in a different way. I think that first one is one we tend to forget about and it's kind of, you know, it seems less relevant, but is where we kind of started uh, to the, for the vast majority of American history. Um, this idea of this kind of um, unctuous, slippery, unreliable, don't, can't uh, quite pin it down, uh, carpet trader sort of you know i mean the whole all these stereotypes of, of the, the, these haji baba of isfahan books that were very very popular throughout most of american history until about the 1950s i've met people um, you know americans of a certain generation that remember this, these books you know that remember that movie it was a hit movie in the 1950s uh and the way that that uh, depicts iranians is always kind of lying and cheating to one another and being a little bit slippery and, and devious and all that kind of stuff mm -hmm. um but also exotic weirdly right not it's it's weird it's it's tough to you know we talk about the kind of good and bad stereotypes i don't know where we put that one and it, it's like it's good in some ways and also bad in others it's a very sort of like uh, it's just this kind of alien oriental kind of um idea right that's something that is alien and that is other 